Hi, this is Capture Toad, and the purpose of this video is to look at taking and keeping uh, the points and why is this important. Uh, our team decided to, to mostly come to the middle point and contest it. Somebody's at our home point, uh, busy taking that. Um, and we have a engineer here, he put up some turrets, so I just want to destroy You've some of the turrets the and help engage. This point, however, is if you're going to turn uh, south uh, quite quickly, you, you start seeing support from the other points coming in. There's someone behind me, uh, people on the high ground, uh, and it's becoming more and more difficult to actually capture the middle point. Now, because this guy is a thief, I decided that um, I need to take a bit of time off, quickly try and deal with him. Uh, but uh, we're getting a little bit overwhelmed on the central point. I actually saw down. that uh, things things were not going well there. Uh, decided to go and Rage take and their mess. home point because as you can see at the top they currently got two points. And we have at this point of time none. So I just want to take this point, uh, turn it around, so we can get some points on the board. You lost the waterfall. Now you can see we actually quite far behind, um, and the gap is you just growing larger and larger because we don't have points. Um, they've taken our point. They've taken the central point. Um, I've managed to take their point because that's was. Uh, Totally unsupported, they didn't have anybody there defending it. Um, and I just want to also try and get this warrior to not turn this point around. But because I'm not a tank, I actually need to try and keep my distance. Uh, right now, I'm opting for the kill first and take point later. Now, there's two of them there's the thief and there's the warrior. So, this is not a situation where I'm really comfortable. Um, but it's not theirs, I just get on the point to try and uh, contest them taking it. Uh, for some reason I actually get stuck here. Right, so back to the 1v2, the warrior is really low, I want to take him down, but I want to stop them from actually taking the point, so every now and then I just quickly try and pop onto it, but it's, it's getting a bit overwhelming for me. Um, to be honest, at this point I thought, this is me, I'm probably done for, and then I got some support from my team, which is really great. Uh, he manages to actually bring the warrior down, which means um, I only now have to worry about the thief, but it's now the thief and a ranger. Uh, unfortunately the warrior is gone, I don't have to worry about him anymore. So this fight, this fight is going to be about who who actually takes and keeps uh, the opposing side's point. And if we can take it and we can keep it, we gain a bit of a, a an advantage psychologically because for some reason people are really um, aggressive about having and keeping their own points. You've captured the quarry. We've now taken the point, and as you can see, we're really, really behind. Um, we've got one point. We really need to start turning things over. Being this far behind is is not good. You lost the waterfall. Uh, just want to kill the thief off. Thieves are generally, uh, you know, a good thief is generally a, a bad problem because they can perhaps backstab you for a ton of damage. Coming into the middle, uh, just trying to kill off the pet if we can. You've taken the uh, if you kill off the ranger's pet, then um, uh, you know the pet cycling actually takes longer. So it's really good if you can get that pet killed. Lost the quarry. 
so we've got people coming into the main point now they've turned uh, their home point around again uh, and I just want to help out here quickly killing the Lesma off and then I need to make a plan about getting that other point back again So we've calmed things down in middle uh, and I'm going to race over to their point to see if I can't neutralize it and um, if we can at least neutralize it where they don't take any points we can maybe catch up. So now we've shut their points down and they're not accumulating any score right now. Uh, that means we're the only people who are actually going to accumulate score because we have that one point and you can actually see how this now makes a difference now we got three points it won't last for long but uh, this is going to be key for us to just regain a lot of that ground that we've lost initially um, the guys in the middle have been doing such a great job uh, fighting on the point and keeping that for our team that even though it's under contest, um, we didn't actually lose it. Just taking uh, some of the pressure off of our point by dealing with this ranger on the high ground. You've lost the quarry. He's now feeling a bit of panic uh, and decides to run, but he's not going to get very far. Um, on their side, however, the engineer is standing on the point, exactly what he needs to do. And uh, I go there to see if I can start putting pressure on him, hoping that my team will arrive and help me, uh, which they do. So the Toads is normally a bit of a problem with the engineers. So while my teammate is going to focus on him, uh, I thought let me just take out some of these Toads quickly. Uh, because having played a Toad engineer before, I know that once the Toads really go, it's really difficult for the turret engineer because they actually rely quite a lot on the turrets so instead of focusing on the point or the engineer I just quickly want to take uh, care of these turrets uh, and then finish him off now you can see my pet is also still on the, on the engineer though so uh, unfortunately I lose the pet there I didn't uh, focus on the pet and uh, that means that my pet swapping is going to be a little bit slower now So having been behind so drastically before, you can actually see that the scores are now evening quite nicely and um, we're able to catch up. Um, so having had those three points, although that's not really a situation that you want to promote too much, um, it did help in this scenario to actually get back into gear again. So I have to admit the stick is not the best I've seen, um, but uh, you know, he hasn't actually put any pressure on us to try and relinquish the point. Just fighting on the point right now, um, even though we're taking pressure and even though this is not a scenario where I am comfortable with, uh, I've got a friend close by for support. And we actually managed to down them both off of the point, which is great because that means we cannot keep the point. Because if somebody dies on the point, um, until you actually finish them, it still seems contested. Uh, this warrior now tries to take back home as well. Um, and this is a good situation. I mean, to put yourself in a 1v2 fight like this isn't the wisest move. Uh, but he is a stun warrior, so I'm going to need a little bit of stability. I've got one of my signets. 
and uh, now he can't do anything to me. So seeing that, he decides to run, but with a long bow, he just takes gets taken out. Seeing that he's got a friend on the way, uh, I need to heal up. I need to get into a position where I've got stability again. Um, and this mesmer is actually quite glossy, so it takes a lot of damage. And taking the mesmer down is really not a difficult task. So, um, having kept the points well and having defeated a lot of enemies uh, at their home point, you can actually see that we've now pulled a hidden score and this is what it means to uh, keep the point. I mean, if you can take the, the points and you can yours. keep the points um, and you can keep that 2 to 1 ratio on the points going for you, uh, you're guaranteed to win and that's exactly what happened here. Your team is victorious!